now we are going to talk about how we are going to change uh, scheduling agreement so this is a mass change again we are going to go to mass transaction and here once we go here we'll select i think it would be bus 2013 we are purchasing scheduling agreement and we'll just execute here and now of course i want to change something so here what we are going to change is suppose the the let's change something very simple uh let's see what we can change here uh let's go to the mass change uh what is the thing our reference fee uh let's go page up and we were trying to find a place where we can change some things let's see scroll up there's something description uh uh probably the terms okay so we will change the terms okay so now what we are going to do we are going to execute and we'll see whether there's any data here so too many fields so let's go and we'll try to find something in the line level okay so let's go we'll hit the back button and we are going to hit the back and instead of terms we are going to go into exc01 it's the short text this a good one and we'll just execute now and so this is a short text so if you see all this is test so suppose we want to say these are scheduling agreement agreement and we'll just select this in the meantime i had this already open in sc16 so this is t so all these will change now so let's go how will change here so let me see i think um, so not here it will change here so this is the field so now we'll click on save so once we save it we'll see the changes happen so oops i went too far so here so you see all the changes has been made now i think this is a scheduling agreement you don't make much changes in it okay sometimes description sometimes other stuff let's see whether there is some other fields that we can change uh, i'm not sure whether we can change probably the target quantity let's see whether we can change some target quantity i'm not sure ktm and g that's the field we'll just go execute so here we have the target quantity and we have a target quantity here or it's some other table so let's go here we click target and here it is the field target quantity we are going to add more target quantity suppose we said okay now target quantity everything would be uh, 1 million dollars so, add a bunch and we'll see so now everything will change we add it a lot we'll see how it reacts to so it made all the changes if you see this was this and hope holy moly that's a lot so it's a it's around 100 million as 100 million dollars each so this these are some of the changes that you will do in a purchasing scheduling agreement and again the the thing is the same transaction mass and you will use business object bus 2013 to do the changes and again the fields are the tables are shared across purchase orders it's the same tables but it has a different number range so that's it for changing purchasing scheduling agreement mass in a massive way.